Depression really sucks. So, I've been going through, you know, what many would just chalk up to, you know, the blues, you know, feeling down, whatever you want to call it, depression, etc., etc. Now, I am diagnosed with chronic depression. I'm, you know, I don't take any medication for it, though some people think I should, and frankly I've just been going through this really not really stressful time not really an anxious time just kind of this time da this downtime where I have shit that I need to do <laughs> but certain shits just not getting done um, don't get me wrong the the I'm slowly coming out of it because some of the things that I really needed to get done some priorities and stuff like that that I really wanted to get taken care of are being taken care of you know I've been you know searching for work as I said I've been uh, got my books on their way basically all paid for uh, school paid for so you know the important shit out of the way um, other things though that are less important but still important to me um, are things concerning my videos. Now, this will be one of those videos that's just going to be completely script-free and off the cuff and try to keep it as short and sweet as I can. Essentially, I have videos that I still need to get done. Um, one, I was going to do, I'm still going to do the California uh, history video. When that's going to be out, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to be working on some stuff, get, trying to get that out to you guys. But as I said, video production will probably be slower than previously anticipated or previously even my plans of previously getting them out there. So essentially what I'm saying is bear with me. You know, I may not be on sometimes for, you know, a week or so at a time. Um, I don't like doing that. I don't like keeping my fans in the dark. I don't like um, basically running off and just you know, not even giving anybody an explanation as to why. Um, just I'm going through, you know, depression. Just plain and simple. Uh, please don't tell me just to get over it because I hate people that frickin' tell me just to get over it. Uh, because if depression was just something that you could just easily get over, then I would, you know, if I could just magically wave a wand or snap my fingers I, I and be out of the funk I am, I believe me, I would. But, you know, we're only human and we go through emotional situations we go through our mental disorders or mental um, instabilities or whatever you want to fucking call depression you know we go through our we go through these issues and I'm one of those people that it goes through it I go th I have anxiety I have depression I have attention deficit disorder you know my fans that have followed this know that about know this shit about me and that I occasionally just go through my periods where I'm just like eh, you know and it's like, are you okay dude? and then sometimes I'll get tweets or messages and stuff like that from people saying are you okay? and I'm like, yeah I just got the blues so that's basically what's been going on and basically it started right after Christmas, um, you know you get into that post holiday funk where you, you know, and a lot of people have been going through this uh, where people just kind of get through into that funk. They don't really, you know, the holidays are over. They ain't got money. They don't, you know, have anywhere to be. And, you know, they're just kind of just trudging along as best they can. And that's really me. Literally for two weeks, I've had nothing to, you know, 
really nothing to do. And, um, well, actually, that's not really true. I've had a lot to do. I just haven't gotten it done. And I think maybe it's that. Maybe it's the fact that I've had nowhere to, else to be, and I've got so, so much stuff I could be doing, and trying to just get a little done at a time to make, the, you know, the burdens a little less, you know, irritating. So, um, yeah. And not only that, it's just the fact I've been sleeping a lot. Like, I've just, every time... I seem to get into some sort of some sort of mood, or I get a little bit of energy going, you know, a little bit of motivation to do some, you know, I can go out, you know, have, you know, run and do errands, you know, for about an hour, then come back home and just knock out for like two or three hours, and it's not like I'm not getting enough sleep, because I've been sleep, for the most part, I've been sleeping okay, I've got, you know, I actually usually, I will admit that, you know, I have been going to bed a lot later, I haven't been going to bed until like sometimes three or four in the morning, so, you know, if you're on Twitter or something like that, you know, you know, at mention me on there or something like that, and if you follow me on Facebook, send me a message, you know, um, though sometimes I don't check my messages as often as I should, but then again, that's because I'm an idiot. Um, and a ten, and a tension deficient, but whatever. But yeah, just you know, hit me up. Um, do whatever you can, and uh, you know, I have a conversation at three in the morning, and I still can Skype at three in the morning. By the way, because a couple of trolls actually were, you know, debating me recently, and like cowards, they ran off. Um. And I basically gave them like several chances. Hey, I'm on Skype. I'm on Google Plus. Hit me up. We can go tit for tat. And uh, they, yeah. So, whatever the case is, and I've been trying to get in contact with you know people that are close to me. I've been trying to schedule some conferences uh, with people. They just haven't been working. So I'm I'm still trying to schedule that out, trying to kind of you know meander around my schedule and stuff like that. Um, I go back to school Monday, which thankfully will be a huge thing for me because you know I'll be able to kind of spend time with people that I really care about, and um, I'll and I actually am taking a class where I actually will get some exercise. So hopefully I'll actually be you know, able to feel a bit better, you know, and feel a little bit more energized, because lately I've just been, uh, like, lately I've just basically been passing out all the time, I've been sleeping, I'll sleep for, you know, six to eight hours, which is typically normal for me, actually it's more than enough for me, because usually I only need four or five hours, and then I'll sleep for, you know, I'll end up knocking out for a nap, like, once or twice a day, and those will last me for anywhere between, you know, a little power nap to something that ends up being three hours. So basically, I've been taking vitamins because I have, you know, a slight vitamin deficiency. Um, I've been taking what this stuff uh, that's basically herbal stuff. It's called St. John's Wort. Um, it's basically they're they're just essentially they're 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 an herbal antidepressant I guess you can kind of say that instead of taking an actual like RX medication which I fucking hate doing uh, this stuff actually you can even break apart and put in a tea so it's you know it's fully na it's fully natural and I know I look look and sound like such a Californian when I <coughs> when I talk about it but. <coughs> But essentially, that is, yeah, it's it's herbal. It's an herbal supplement that's supposed to enhance your mood and make make you, you know, make you feel a little bit better. And I think that's a lot better than taking a Zoloft, you know, or any other bullshit. Um, because as much as I love, as much as I will admit that I smoke pot pot has not really for some reason been helping me and normally it's an antidepressant because one of the side effects it's supposed to do is make you happy 
as well as other things. Um, yeah, it just hasn't been working for me lately. It just hasn't been, it just wasn't enough to pull me out of this funk. And I couldn't understand why the hell, and I still can't understand why the hell I've been going through this. That's one of the biggest problems with people that have depression, people that have anxiety. You don't know why you're going through this. You don't know why you why you are feeling how you are. And the problem with having depression and anxiety is that you get depressed, then you start worrying about the fact that you're depressed all the time and sleeping all the time, and then you're depressed because you're anxious. So it's a vicious circle. But I do that. I'm taking vitamin D supplements because I'm deficient. And um, I'm also trying to take my allergy medications. Again, um, that doesn't really have anything really to do with my mood, I don't think. But it makes me feel better and yada, yada, yada. So basically what I'm saying is bear with me guys I'm sorry I haven't been making videos I'm sorry that I haven't been uh, doing the stuff that I've been wanting to do it's and it's not like my 2016 is not starting off great I mean other than another automotive issue that's come up um, again cars are crap don't buy a Kia um, <laughs> But it's one of those things where I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm finally starting to feel better. Um, and I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I'm trying to start get, working up the motivation to do some shit again. And uh, hopefully that will mean that, may, that I'll probably just be projectile vomiting out a couple of videos. Maybe in the next week or so. Uh, and then after that, ex you know, maybe like a couple, and then after that, expect everything to just slow down tremendously, because after the first week of school, I guarantee you I'll be swamped with work. But, um, anyway, um, I just wanted to give you guys an explanation, because you guys really deserve it, and again, depression, again, it's a bitch, and it really, and when depression hits you so hard that you actually just don't feel like doing shit, there's something there. And who knows, may maybe this is also a sign that maybe I even need to take a break. Um, but I, I'm, but we'll, you know, but we'll just say, I do at some point plan on ending season 13, but I didn't hope to do that until like next month. So, we'll just see how it goes. But, yeah, depression is just kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, those demons and voices, you know, that, you know, in your head just basically start yapping at you saying, you ain't worth shit, you don't, you know, you're a failure, you're this, you're that, whatever the case is, for stupid shit, you know. And so, basically, you just feel down about yourself. And that's just what I've been going through. I've just been feeling a little down for no fucking reason. I think the what really set it off was getting the community strike. But, you know, I'm over that. It's just the fact that I'm just, for some reason, your mind plays these games on you, these little tricks, and makes you feel like you're not worth shit. Thankfully, I'm not the type of person that gets suicidal. I get homicidal. But the point is, <laughs> I haven't killed anybody yet. Um, but the point is, I'm trust, just trying to get through it, and I thought you guys deserved an explanation, and um, just, again, bear with me, and uh, continue to, to monitor the channel, and I'm also thinking about possibly making another channel, considering that I do have the community strike against this channel, so we'll see how that goes, um, Still, so yeah, still thinking about that, and uh, yeah, thanks guys for just watching, and uh, for your cooperation, your patience, and I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. This has been NorCal Corner. Peace.